This year, the Central City Rebuild picks up pace. Over a thousand buildings have come down in Central Christchurch, but new buildings are already springing up to take their place. Their owners understand the heart of Christchurch will always lie within the four great avenues, Morehouse, Fitzgerald, Beeley, and Deans. Over 200 private sector sites have been built, reinstated, or are under construction. Work has already begun on the Margaret Mayhew Family Playground, and in the coming months, we'll see the Performing Arts Precinct begin to take shape, starting with the Music Centre of Christchurch. Before winter 2015, the bus interchange will be operational, reconnecting people to the central city. Early 2016, we'll see the East Frame come to life, heralding the return of inner city residential living. Also, the Innovation Precinct will be established and humming. The Avon River Precinct will also be completed, connecting pedestrians to the array of shops and businesses along its promenade. More private building projects are being confirmed every week. More than 200 buildings are underway or consented. Each consent is worth millions of dollars. Money is pouring back into the city and its heart is beginning to pump. By mid-2016, the square will be re-established as the heart of central Christchurch. Also, by early winter 2016, an earthquake memorial will be established as a place of reflection. Summer 2017, the retail precinct continues to evolve, drawing people to the central city to shop, play, live, work and invest. By winter, our world-class convention centre will be opening its doors and the Central Library will be established as the city's knowledge hub. The end of 2017 sees the completed Metro Sports Facility, equipped to host international events and family fun. The impressive justice and emergency services precinct will be finished. The health precinct, with the largest health-related building project in New Zealand, is opened as is the South Frame, a public realm of open space corridors linking the Innovation Precinct in the east to the Health Precinct in the west. Also by now, much of the almost 40,000 square metres of floor space in the commercial buildings will be occupied, and Christchurch will be getting on with business. Christchurch Central is a $40 billion investment opportunity, and opportunity abounds. It's a rare thing to be able to take an established economy with over a hundred years of organic growth and have the chance to create a new city centre using best practice design models. But we can, so we are, it's happening.